Today I'm going to go over uh, using the screen command, which is a very common command. And uh, I don't believe I've gone over it before. I thought I had, but I don't remember doing it now that I actually think about it. It has lots of features, and today I'm just going to show you the basic features of it. So, we'll start off. If it's not installed, it will be in your repositories under screen. So just aptitude install screen, or use whatever packet manager you prefer. To start, you just type screen. And by default, it will usually give you this little message. Just hit space or enter to get past that. And now it looks like you're running a regular uh, terminal session here, uh, which you are. Uh, but you have the capability of running multiple s bash or whatever shell you use sessions within this uh, screen here and within this terminal. So if I hit Control Alt C, oops. I've created a new terminal. So now you can see I can start typing. I can type echo hello, so hit enter. And now if I hit Control Alt N for next, it goes to the next screen. So you can see if I hit Control, I'm sorry, did I say Control Alt? Control A N. Control A N. And you can see I can scroll back and forth between the two of them. If I go Control A C, I create a new one. And so I can like list files out here. Control A N, Control A N, and you can see I can go through all three of those. So I can have, right now I have three sessions running in this one screen. Now, this is very useful when you're SSH'd into a server somewhere. For example, if you were to start up an IRC client or some other process that's constantly running. So let's say I tail F and I tail out a log file like so. You can see that this log file is running. I can now close this window. And if I open up a new terminal session, let me make this a little bit bigger here. I can start screen up again just by typing screen dash R and we'll reconnect to that screen session. So as long as this computer isn't shut down and that screen session is running, I can do that and you can see it brings that information back up. I can hit control A N again and I can go through all three of those screens that I've already created. So if you have a server running you can log in start processes and as long as you start screen first you can log out of the server come back later log back in with another SSH session anywhere in the world and start it up again and the entire time it's running in the background. So that's a basic look at screen, but it has a lot of other features which we'll go over in future tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day.